you know what song stuck in my head? I'ma leave the door open. I'ma leave the door open, open. It sucks because that's how I hear it in my head is with my own voice and that's not good. I wanna test summer products. I went online and I searched like the best summer products, but I think too expensive because I don't wanna pay lots of money for this business and neither do you, let's be real. No one wants to spend money on these things. So uh, I got a few either cheap, they're not cheap, inexpensive or like, mm, okay, I expect it to be that price type of things. I got a few of them and we're gonna test them out. They're summer products that you need for 2021, says all the articles that I read. I'm excited to test all of them. So let's get to getting, shall we? All right, let's go. So the first thing is something we're gonna be wearing all video because we need to wear it for a long period of time to actually determine if it is good or not. They're these sandals. What? What? Okay, so I think they're eco-friendly, I'm assuming. Gurus, these are called gurus. They're comfortable, sustainable, adjustable, and tagless. Oh, it's a twist on the ancient Indian sandal worn by Gandhi and sustainably sourced from mother nature. So apparently they're good for the earth. Gandhi wore these guys. This is what Gandhi wore. Okay, here we go, putting it on. Okay, they're a little, they're not very slide onable. You know how like flip flops you just kind of slide on? My initial thought is that I hate them but we're gonna, you know, keep moving forward. So here's what they look like as I walk. Um, I find the the thing between my toes quite large. I can definitely feel that it's there. They do fit my feet, they're not slipping off. I don't necessarily think that they're cute. I actually hate the way they look, but you know, Gandhi wasn't much of a fashionista. So we're gonna wear them throughout the rest of the video and um, see how we like them at the end. Gotta give them a good shake, gotta give them a good try. To the next product. All right, the next product I've already used and that's because I had to freeze it overnight. So this is the Zipsicle. That's a fun name, a Zipsicle. Hi Blaze, did you want a Zipsicle? Yes? Well, lucky for you, the ones I already made, you can have a bite of, cause they're pineapple. So let me show you what it is, cause it's actually pretty cool and I'm really excited to try it. So there's these little, it's like a Otter Pop or Icicle, whatever these are, whatever you call them, I know they're called different things in different places, it's these. It's a Ziploc bag version, so you do this, boop, you gotta blow in it. And then you pour the liquid in up to this line. Do this, you can write down what it is for the flavors, even though you can tell by what color. And then you freeze it overnight. And then they give you little instructions on how to make like pineapple orange, root beer float, strawberry lemonade. So like different flavors. Basically this is a thing to freeze juice to make an Otter Pop, Icicle, whatever you call them. So I did this last night and I put, just throwing it, just throwing it. I put pineapple juice in these. It was actually really easy. It wasn't that difficult to pour in. You just, hold it over the sink, blowing it like I did, pop this open, like this, and then pour the juice in up to the fill line, close it, freeze it. It wasn't difficult, it wasn't funny for me to show you. It was actually really easy. Also, shoes, extremely uncomfortable. All right, so it was easy to fill up. Let's see if it's easy to eat. They're supposed to be resealable, so I think washing them and peanut a pee pee I don't have words. I think washing them. I think washing them would be a pain in the butt. So I just opened it. I didn't think it would come out. I genuinely didn't think it would come out to see the... It tastes like pineapple juice. I'm so happy right now. Mm, 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 mm. This is a wonderful summer product. This is a wonderful summer treat. Oh, goodness. Okay, I can't eat all this right now because it's a lot of sugar and it's the morning and I've already had my six cups of coffee. So we don't want to see what happens after that. Let's see if my dog likes it then. Okay. Good boy. Oh, is that nice? Oh, does that taste good? So he approves. Oh, good boy. Okay, so we've emptied it out. I'm gonna see how hard it is to clean this because if it sucks to clean, this is a no-go. You might as well get the ones that like aren't resealable because these cost more money. It depends on how clean you want to get it. I can put some dish soap in there and then rinse it out. By the way, shoes, still uncomfortable. Drop of that. All right. I, this might sound weird, but I'm going to put a straw in there to like open it up at the end. Oh, that is genius. I'm a Hi, hi, welcome to my channel where I'm a genius. Put a straw in there so it keeps it open and then you can come with me. Don't lose me. Don't follow me. Follow along and you can dry it. Sometimes I amaze myself. Zipsicles, fantastic summer product for not just you, but for random children, hopefully you know them, and your dogs. Phenomenal. Next product. 
I have attempted several videos with a watermelon. None have ended well for me, but this time I'm not trying to explode it. I, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna make it a magic party tool. What? No, I'm gonna tap it. What does that mean? I, this is getting heavy, I'm gonna put it down. So this, apparently, is a thing for you to tap your watermelon. Oh. So you pour out the watermelon, fill it with your favorite juice or alcohol or whatever you want, and it basically will infuse it with watermelon, and you stick this in it, and you this becomes the drink dispenser, such as this. This is gonna be a big one. This is, this is gonna be a task. It's gonna get messy. I'm gonna get angry. We're gonna see if it works. Because if this works, I don't think it'll be worth it to ever do this, ever. But like, if you're one of those people that really likes your parties to like look top notch, I'm sure you would enjoy this. Let's, let's begin this. Are you in it with me, watermelon? Are you in it with me? Probably not, just cause your watermelons are dicks and I don't even like watermelon. Update on the shoes, still extremely uncomfortable. Extremely. I hate them. I'm mad at myself for wearing them. Yeah, I'm pulling my hair back and putting an apron on because me and watermelons do not have a good history. I'm just preparing because I liked, I liked my shirt today. It says to cut a third inch off the bottom of your melon so it stands upright. Mine is standing upright. So then it says to cut an inch off, half an inch off the top for the lid. Also, I don't like that I'm using a giant knife while wearing sandals, but things happen. Now I have to scoop out the innards and set aside. I have to scoop out the entire inside of this watermelon. It's gonna take me a long time. It says, stop it. It says to use this. This is juicy, that's what this is. No, no, nope. using a spoon. This is gonna take forever. This is gonna take six years. This is gonna take more than I'm willing to put in it, put in it, put in it. All right, fast motion, go. That took forever. I also didn't even do it all the way. I just don't, I'm doing it enough so that we can demonstrate it. Okay, core hole two to three inches above bottom. Okay, I decided that that's here for the sake of this. Boom, they do give you a little tool. That is nice. Insert the faucet. Is this how this goes? Push that in and then this you see, he see, this goes in the inside. I'm trying, guys. It's just a little hard to screw something into a wider melon. That seems right. I don't know. This is weird. There's juice in there, so I'm gonna put some guts in to raise it. Now I'm gonna put pineapple juice in there. Okay, it's covering the faucet completely. Let's wipe it down. Put our lid on it. Look at what I did. Look at it. Okay, now let's see if it works. Ready? Okay, not a lot's coming in, not, not a lot's coming out. I'm gonna add water. I don't wanna waste more juice. I'm gonna add some water and see if like the pressure of more water being in there like makes it better. Sandals, by the way, suck. I hate them. Look at it, it's not even on my foot anymore. Adding water. I'm gonna take out some chunks. Maybe that's stopping the flow a little bit. Here we go. Let's test it now. Okay, so. Okay, did I do something wrong? I'll take out the chunks. Add more water, maybe? Nothing seems to be blocking it. There we go. Nope. No. What am I doing wrong? I literally, I followed the instructions. Guys, I was really excited for this and I actually don't think this product worked. Or it does work and it's the fact that I'm using a watermelon to do something that it's just not gonna work. So, am I? I don't, and the thing is like, I have a bunch of liquid in here now, so I can't take the faucet off to like figure out if something's, God. All right, well, let's taste this. Cheers. Yeah, it's not actually that bad. Since I watered it down so much, it's like, uh, it's not super, oh, it's actually kind of refreshing. It's like a hint of pineapple watermelon in the water. That's actually pretty good. That is a pretty good drink. I did pretty good with this, but like, you. Hello? This doesn't work. Wow, that's disappointing. Great. Hold on, I'm gonna do something really stupid because why not? There's chunks of watermelon blocking it. There's chunks of watermelon blocking it. Hold on, oh God, okay, wait. Did I just fix it? Let me see. If I just fixed it, by golly. It's better, but it's still not great. Like this is gonna take six years to fill up this cup. Guys, I just don't think this is a good product. 
I'm giving it a fail. I'm giving it a fail. To the next one. All right, last product is gonna require us to take these sandals off. And thank God, these hurt so bad. And also they keep falling off my right foot. Gandhi, bro, what were you doing? Also, just whoever made those. That hurt, really hurt in between my toes. And I can wear sandals, y'all. Ah, I'm not happy. I'm not happy. I'm not happy. Anyway, next product. They're water shoes, y'all. I got myself some water shoes, okay? Now, listen. I don't want anyone hating on water shoes, all right? Sometimes you go to the beach, that stuff hurts, man. So there's things in water, y'all. We gotta protect our feet. Oh, I look freaking good. Look at this. There's a Velcro strap to make sure that this, nothing's getting in. Nothing's getting into my ankles, y'all. Oh, oh, watch out, watch out, watch out. Mm. I've never looked so good. Yes. Yes. Watch out. Y'all better watch it. Look at this. Yes. Oh, this is, this is no slip grip. I'm not slipping on these. I feel good. Let's get them wet. My feet, my feet aren't even wet right now. My feet are warm, dry, and comfortable. I'm gonna go traipsing around in some ponds. Oh, oh, my feet are dry. What? No slip grip. I actually really like these shoes. Hold on. Let's walk on some rocks. Oh, oh, I'm walking on rocks and I don't even care. Oh, I'm walking on some rocks and I don't even care. These might be the ugliest things in the world, but oh my gosh, I think I'm in love with them. I think they're the best product we've tried today. Well, considering two of them sucked and then two of them were good, these are the best. I've tried a lot of shoes and like waterproof shoes and whatnots. I think these are my favorite. I think I love these ones the most. I'm gonna walk around the sand, no heat. Can't feel nothing. I'm just walking, I'm just walking. And I'm not slipping. I'm just walking, I'm just walking. I love these. Hot sand, rocks, hot asphalt, waterproof. Wonderful. They're not 100% waterproof. They're similar to a wet proof, a wetsuit, okay? I love these. Yeah, it's like having a wetsuit for your feet. I'm obsessed. I'm into this. This is when, yeah. It won, it won, it won, it won. All right, that's it for today though. I love you guys so much. Please subscribe to see videos every Tuesday and Thursday on this channel. Like this video if you liked it. Also make sure you're checking out my blog channel and my podcast channel. I have my podcast, All Things Internet with my mom, but I have a new podcast coming out, um, I believe August 2nd, uh, called Rachel Uncensored. It'll be the only place on the internet where you can see an uncensored version of me. And um, it's gonna be a lot of fun. It's just me having a couple drinks with some friends uh, every other week. It's gonna alternate with my current podcast on Mondays. And yeah, that's it. Merch link below. You all are wonderful and beautiful. I love you so much and bye.